Hello and welcome back, guys, to another episode of What's SDS. Up, Today we'll be doing hot takes. Yeah. I got Faze, I yeah. got Ilias, yeah. I got Big Daddy Lever. Yeah, and yeah, we got, gonna, we got, and we got daddy over Big here, Daddy man. Stars. He's about, to give daddy. Us, he's about to give us the whole load. Six Facts. foot daddy. Facts. The ponytail daddy. What load are you giving us today? Brown the jumper load. daddy. What load are you giving us today? Gonna be, I was going to say, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, guys, yeah, go where on. can they hear us? Where can they listen to us? Sorry, They can listen to us on all streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple, mm-hmm. and Amazon. And Levi, where can, they, where, they, uh, where can they see your face? Where they can see my face? On Instagram? <laughs> Oh yeah, Instagram on YouTube, baby. Yeah, Instagram on as well. YouTube. Yeah. And oh, guys, make sure you follow SDS Pod on Instagram. Facts. Mm-hmm. Even oh, how many followers, man? I don't know how many page. followers we got, but we need more. We need, we need more. more. Yeah. We need page. more of that. Facts. All right, guys. The first take is France won't make okay. it past the group stage. Cap. No. Now nah, they're coming out of group Bro, stage. They got who? They got Denmark and who else? Australia, yeah, yeah, Australia, yeah, Australia, yeah. And, yeah and, they're playing uh, Australia, and, 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 uh, and I think Tunisia, right? Tunisia, yeah, Tunisia, bro, cap, yeah. cap, cap, they're yeah, making yeah, it. Yeah, now they're, they're coming out of group stage, easy. Man, who made these easy, takes? Man. Yeah, who made these smelly yeah. takes? I know it's Hasib. It's the love match with CBK over there. I feel like it might I be Hasib with the Guib. Horror take, man. Um, so France, matter, France is Tunisia, Denmark, <laughs> Australia, and Francois. So I think France are coming out of that group flying colours. Nine. I'm, I'm going seven points. Yeah, they're coming out. I'm going seven out as well. They're not going past the uh, round 16. You reckon? Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, I don't think they're meant. What do you mean? Out. I tweeted this time ago. So, so if they finish first, who are they facing? So they've got no, I'm going to tell you why they're not coming out. They've got no Kimpembe, no Kante, no Pogba. Kimpembe, come on, man. No Benzema, no Benzema. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Benzema. No Benzema. Well, and, can do a job, and there's someone else they're missing. That's a, uh, and Kunku. And Kunku. Kunku. Yeah. But, 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 but. That's not yeah. a big so, miss. Huh? That's not a big miss. I feel like that's. No, a that is, is, from, from I the, reckon it would have been Dembele, off Benz, off and Kunku. No, I reckon off it would have been Dembele, yeah, Benz, yeah, and Kunku. No, no, no. I don't think like, they would have had the. They would have had the. Oh, no. So if they finish first, yeah, who are they facing? Um, do they face Group C or is it Group E? I think if they finish first, they play somebody from second. They play C, I think. Because I think because Netherlands play either England or Wales. Yeah. So that's A and B. So obviously, Argentina, Mexico. I'm not happy that none of us are prepared. And, well, I, blame, and I, I, blame, I blame you two. What's, what's the, yeah, what's, what? Because you know what? the question was, I, I asked you the question. What was the question? Sorry. And you should have been prepared. Sorry, man, I'm not the host, unfortunately. But, um, I'm not asking. Prepared for what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm not trying to flip on you, don't worry. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to do 50 cent. I'm not trying to do 50 cent on you. You asked him the question, yeah, yeah. Well, Okay, <laughs> what's the question? Just, let's, let, ask me the question again. So, so if Brazil finished first. If Brazil who, finished first. Who are they facing? France. Is that? No, so, so, sorry, if, if France, France finished first, who are they facing? Stars, do you know that question? Yes, they will face? either play, I want to say, Mexico or Poland. Because I think Argentina will win that group. But oh, so they'll play second of Group C? Yeah. Okay, Fez. I, I feel yeah. like, so why was a lot of people saying they're going to play England? Oh, no, that's the cause. Okay, okay. okay. It's, I think it's and group I saw C people saying Senegal as well. In the group six. In the Senegal will play either England. That's we need, to, we need to look at the graph. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah I remember it said England, England. Because if you did the bracket, okay. Yeah. So what's, England. The, what's the what's the take? The take is is France going to get yeah, past the group it, stages? It, and yeah. they are. It's Let's take. Waste our time. That was, sorry, that was sorry, a horrible uh, take from Heavy CBK, but we move on. I see. Yeah, sorry, guys. I Let's go. The next take is Uruguay make the World Cup final. Well, Fe- it says Fede will be the greatest midfielder if what, Uruguay made the World Cup final. Faisal, Faisal, put his hands up. I feel like Faisal asked the question. that again, will I? It I says Uruguay lost. make the World Cup. F- if Uruguay make the World Cup final, yeah, Fede will be the greatest midfielder in the world. In the world. In the world. Uh, but where is he even playing? For? Where did, what position is he playing? Yeah, where is he playing for Uruguay? This is your boy. So where is he playing for? Uruguay? Is he playing centre mid or the right? Uruguay. Who plays centre mid? With Bentacle. So how will he be uh, the greatest midfielder? We, we just just because he gets to the cup final with Uruguay. How does that make sense? Fede is the best right winger and the best centre mid in the world. Whoa! I agree with you, bro. Brother, I'm, I'm disagree with that take. Brother, all right. I'm They're saying. Not, I, they're not getting far. For, listen, for Spotify listeners, yeah. I'm putting my hands up. Go on. Faisal's agreeing with the take. Of course you are, because yeah. you're Los Blancos. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fede is the best midfielder. Once, if, if they qualify, I mean, if they go to the final, yep. mm-hmm. best, best midfielder in the world. That's one, that's not happening. Actually, as a matter of fact, so, he's so, the best player in the world. So huh? Uruguay have <laughs> Ghana, South what? Korea, and Portugal in their group. Do you think they're coming out of the group top? I've got them finishing first. You've got them finishing first. That's and correct. you've got Portugal second, right? And if they finish first, they face second in the Serbia group. They'll beat Serbia. But in the Serbia group is Cameroon, Serbia, Switzerland, Brazil. I think yeah, Switzerland and Brazil. Brazil. I think Switzerland and Brazil come out of that group. Yeah, exactly. So they'll play Switzerland, right? They'll play Serbia. Okay. No, so no, you're saying Serbia is going to come out. Yeah. You think Serbia is coming out? I've got Serbia okay, first. Second. Okay. They will knock out Serbia. Yeah. And after that, of course, I don't know who they're facing, of course. And they'll yeah. knock out that team. Yep. 
Not quite that close. And then semis? Mm. Semis yeah. is either France or England. Moon, moon, you meant to no, moon. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you <laughs> moaned the first one. I had the first one. No, I'm not doing that. I was waiting yeah. for the yeah. bit of a moan there. But that's oh, fine, that's fine. You don't I'm have to. I'm not doing that. The final against against you, against Brazil, Argentina. It'll be I, tough. It'll I, be I, tough. I'd be real with you, bro. That's a whole lot of waffle. Waffle. Like, yeah, that was so that much. was so much waffling. No reason. First of all, Uruguay are not even making yeah. it to the quarter. I don't think they may even make it to the quarterfinals. I'll be real. Excuse. Secondly, they do have a good team though. They, they have. They got your boy. That's not my boy. That's not your bread. That's not my boy. That's not my boy. They got Rahal. They well, got Lucas Torreira. Our boy. He's out. He's out. Is he out? He's not playing. Arujo. Then he's injured. But he. But they're trying to force him. Yeah, yeah. Trying to force him. But anyway. That takes smelly, man. That that is, uh, whoever asked that, that hot take, uh, <coughs> Jassim, um, horrible. horrible. So what? So, so, so Uruguay what? to the final. I feel like you wrote that yourself. No, no, no. But the question wasn't Uruguay to the final. The question was if they make it to the final, it's fairly the best. Bro, listen to the question. It's fairly okay, the sorry, best. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My comment yeah, that, skills. That's like saying, how do you, how influential is going to be? Yeah. How do you know how influential is going to be? Imagine Darwin Nunes scores 15 goals. How do we know if, if, all if all of a sudden during the tournament they decide, you know what, bro, move to right wing? Yeah. I mean, there's so much yeah. variables. Yeah. You can't just say just because a man went oh, to the right, final, he's it. the best midfielder in the world. What are you talking about? What about. Shut your mouth. What about. Shut your mouth, man. Now flip onto the team that they play against in the final. They might have a midfielder who's playing better, taking them to the final. What do you think, Star? Bruno Gamarsh. I don't know if you said anything. I think that. It, that takes stinks. Stinky, you know? Yeah, and, and I think Faisal Faisal smells. Valverde is, he's going to be home Yeah, with his girl Yeah, watching the final. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thinking about Real Madrid, if he's going to play on the right wing or centre mid, because he's clearly not good enough centre mid to play in centre mid, so he's going to be on the right wing. I think that's what's going to happen. And that's fine. Shut you, man. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> next, next, next. next. <laughs> oh, this, 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 this take is hot. I'm not going to lie. This, this take this is, is hot. Go on, drop it like it's hot. If, Neymar wins the World Cup. Mm-hmm. He will be the greatest Brazilian of all time. Never. Facts. Nah, nah, nah. He won't straight be the greatest Brazilian of all time. I think that's a straight fact. That's an uncomfortable. That's an uncomfortable. Can I give my words out? Speak English, first. Speak English. I know it's well, hard. I know it's hard. It's hard to get uncomfortable out. Yeah. conversation to be had. And why is it uncomfortable? Because if he does win it, he might be the greatest. That's whoa, straight whoa, facts. Whoa, 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 whoa. He might be the I greatest. Th- I the only one disagreeing. Who's that? The only one disagreeing is on ten. Who's that? No, that's what I'm saying. Nostalgia no, merchants. No, no, I'm not talking about yeah. Ronaldinho. What? You got, I've never watched him, but you got guys like Pele. Who's that? Pele. Yeah. Pele. You, got you play football when there's no offside. Loud of course, yes. of course, there's no offside, but, but come on. Offside. Come on. When 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 Neymar's retired, they're not going to have murals of uh, Neymar like they do Pele. Bro, I play for yeah, Santos and New York Cosmos and they play with no offside <laughs> rule. Listen, you know the Pele take, yeah? I don't want to no, hear that, man. Bro, I don't want to hear it as well. The guy I lies, feel like lies about his stats. If you see his highlight reel, though, it look crazy. It look crazy for Skipping reasons. Guys. Skipping guys. Right, right. he'll do no skills that people are doing now. Tell him to do that right now in the pavilion, right now within his At his old age. I'll get touched, man. As old. Do you think he's still got a good first touch? I disagree. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. If you don't lose that, you don't. You never lose. Yeah, that. I don't think you, you, know, ever you lose know. If you were, if you were to play in a charity game right yeah. now, yeah, and yeah. you scored a penalty, yeah, would he I add that to his goal tally? I think well, I might, might No, my favorite. No, he would score it. <laughs> yeah. He would probably take it and score it, yeah. and he probably add that to his goal tally. Yeah, because I don't believe his cap. Yeah, there's no way that brother's numbers change all the time. Yeah, yeah. I've heard how many numbers have you heard? Different. Well, I've heard different numbers. He changed the number when Ronaldo beat him. Apparently, yeah. He tried to say no, guys. How can you say it's thousands of ones? It's that's not the figure. Yeah, this is the figure. Don't do that. Don't do. Ronaldo's the best goal scorer. You know what? I'm missing about 15 goals. You want me to say that he's better than Neymar? So, 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 you agree? I agree. I agree. That he'll be the greatest Brazilian of all time if he wins the World Cup. I think so. Just one World Cup. Yeah, because you know it's- Compared to the players you've won like three. Do you know why I say that though? No, I don't think- Okay, you know what? There's definitely- It's a tough one. Well, let me take it back because you know it's there's definitely a conversation to be had though. Yeah. Because I feel like- I'm I'm here with the conversation, but I think it's outrageous to be like, yeah. No, but do you know what it's though? I think- uh, What, you think he'll he'll be the greatest president? No, as in like, I don't think there's a- I don't think he has- He sits on the table of R9, the Zikos, the Pele's and them, man. Why not? I don't think so. Why not? If he he takes- Because if we're going to deep it, yeah, back in the days. The greatest competition is obviously the World Cup. That's yeah. how everyone tallied yeah. everything. Yeah, in yeah. It. The world stage, whatever it is, mm-hmm. Pele's got two of them. Yeah, I know. I, f- I think Zico's, no, got, no, Zico's no, got a couple. No, right? no, Pele got three. Pele got three. Yeah, out of the five that yeah. they've already won. Okay. Yeah. Which because Zico's got about two, will I? Yeah. I think one, one or two. Surprised. One or two. One yeah. or two at least. Yeah. He's regarded as the greatest midfielder, mm. okay. arguably, in it, if yeah. I'm gonna make sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's already two man. Yeah. And yeah. you've got R nine in our generation. Yeah. That. Arguably, arguably, is the greatest and he, Brazilian. And he won a World Cup in like his peak powers as well. And then you look at you look at like say for example, like, can he even? Let's be real. Can he even sit on the same table as Romario? Well, I can. 
Because Romario won the 94 and he was you the main guy. You yeah. You're disrespecting him. No, you're I, right. I, I don't think he's disrespecting him. It's paying, it's paying, it's it's paying homage to the older guys. guys. No, it's paying homage to the older guys. No, Neymar in those generations. No, no, no. Let's not do that. You know what? I feel like you and you Nostalgia merchants. No, 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 I'm not nostalgia no, merchants. I'm not nostalgia merchants. I'm not nostalgia merchants. I'm not nostalgia merchants. I'm not nostalgia merchants. Yeah, I wasn't there. I wasn't there in the 60s watching Pelly. I wasn't there watching it. I wasn't there watching it. There's facts behind it. No, because you guys are based on highlights. Okay, all the names you mentioned, yeah? I'm not based on highlights. I'm not based on highlights. All the names you've mentioned, yeah? Who's had a better club career than Neymar? Tell me. Of those names that we've mentioned, mentioned a yeah. club career. It's yeah. just no, just no one. If we're talking, if we're talking club, the only person you can really maybe start saying name naming is probably Ronaldinho. It's of course Ronaldinho. Yeah. He's had a way better career yeah, than Neymar. But, but club but career. No, but, but the only thing, yeah, uh, he's won every. You know, he's won everything. I'll he's won every it. trophy. No, no, it's come, it came out recently. He's won every trophy. I wouldn't say that though. Dinos, yeah, no, 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 no. the only one I have an argument with. Like, if yeah. Neymar gets to, if Neymar yeah. wins the World Cup, yeah. for me, he surpasses Dino. Yeah, he, yeah, he what does. Do you mean? What do you mean, bro? He, he surpassed Dino already, bro. No, okay, he has. Stop this cat. I don't think so. Stop this cat. I think there's a conversation there. That's what I'm saying. And after, if he wins the World Cup, then yeah, cool. Now we can, you probably argue he's better than 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 Ronaldinho, but you can't just say right now, right? Yeah, brother, brother. Let's be real. Yeah, the only argument you can use to Dino is peak. He's had two, three years. That's fine. I'm giving Dino that. Two, three. Years what? Three years peak. Prime, no, no, but Dinia only had two, three, three years, years. at the best in the world. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but up until but maybe let's say two thousand and eight, would you say? Yeah, when he, later, um, uh, um, the, 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 the second, the second the third, his second season of AC Milan. Like, put think that's Neymar in Dinia's generation. Dinia had, to, but I don't Neymar like Neymar had I don't to like face Messi and 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 Ronaldo. That's, that's what yeah, makes of course, of course, of course. Ronaldo had Zidane, Henri. Bro, how many Come names as well? Like, you're talking about big names as well, bro. Big man. Uh, Dinho's peak started when? 2003? No, but 2000? I'm saying during Ronaldinho's peak, there yeah. were more big names. That's yeah. when that's when the likes of Zizou, R9, R9 fell off after what? 2004, 2005, his knee. No, but I'm saying finito. his generation, like his Ronaldinho's generation, they were stacked with yeah. like I hate that, players, but I hate that. Ballers, but Dinho's prime started when the other players Start to nah, fall that's cap. It is, bro. Oh my god, that's big cap. That's straight. That's no, 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 that's cap. There was a lot of big plays in that time. There was a lot of big plays in that time. There was a lot of big plays in that time. After, after, when R9, when R9 fell off after his yeah. injury in 2003, four, who was that? Zizou as well. Zizou um, after Madrid. Zizou after Madrid. Henri. Henri, what Henri? Um, you, had, you had Lampard. You had Lampard. Don't discredit Lampard. Don't discredit Lampard. Don't discredit Lampard. He went to a Lampard early. Bro, okay, look at this. In those days, who was who was doing 2020 seasons? As a midfielder, who's scoring 20 goals getting 20 You know what? Titi's Titi the only one that, that, uh, that I'll agree with. That's it. Bro, there's so many players like Luis Figo. The, the yeah, bro. Like, Luis, come on, Luis Figo. On. You know as well about Luis Figo. You're Madrid so Figo. <laughs> Figo. It finished. The it guy finished. that it they were saying after. that was the best player in the All world I'm at saying, that time. Listen. This R9, this, yeah. uh, this D, uh, Dino and Neymar, yeah. well, it's a pathetic. How is it pathetic? I don't think it's pathetic. I think there's a conversation to be had. I think there's a conversation to be had. How is that pathetic, guys? There's, 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 there's a conversation to be had, yeah. bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Regarding this, obviously, but back you're then, talking about I don't somebody think it was that got a, a, a standing ovation from the Bernabeu crowd, bro. Yeah. And Come it, on, like. it goes back to my prime. Dino's prime is elite. I'm not disputing that. Yeah. So what? But so what prime main name are we talking about here? Yeah. Name us. Give me name as prime. Is his name prime? Is, give me, give is, me prime. Is his prime, prime better than Ronaldinho's prime? Early PSG days. Is his early but PSG days? If you early PSG days, yeah, that's where you went left for me. Because if you said why, why, if you said his last two years at Barcelona, I will say okay, yeah. you're giving me something. You're t- but you just said the first years at PSG. The thing is, the thing is, you talking about Dino. Are you talking about? He's talking about Neymar. Casual. I talk ne- about Neymar. Talk Neymar about- he talked about Neymar, bro. Neymar. Said, I said to him, give me. He said early PSG days. Bro, I, I said, early bro. I, I, said give me, give me, I said, give me Neymar's uh, best years. He said early PSG days. Casual. You're casual. You Come on, man. You're straight. Come on, bro. Straight. You said to me at least straight 20, 2015, up 2016 Barcelona. If you know, last if you know, you know. Even He's his killing. last few years now. Not his early thing. When the, the number think, ten Neymar is better think, now. If you think that's Neymar's best career, no. no. Well, I say well, it is. How about that? So, you, so you think? <laughs> how about that? Neymar's best. I think Neymar's. Okay. How about that? Neymar's best season yeah, yeah. for me was the six one season, the, when they when they moved to PSG six one at New Camp. That's their best season. That, that, that was, that was his best, best individual season. season. That's and I think, I think he, that's, yeah. that's I think he even ever. said, I think Bro, he even said this? in his doc, that's his best season. And how about this? That's the best ever individual performance from any player in Champions League history. How about that? That six one his, 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 yeah, his goals and six one performance. My man's based in one game after. But I'm uh, saying that season, you, that season, you, you need to fast three days. Why do you think they spent? You need to fast three days. Why do you think they spent two hundred fifty million in that summer? You need to fast three days. Why did he broke? Bro, the reason why the transfer market is ruined today is because of Neymar. 
They thought they hit the belly when they got for two They thought they hit the belly for yeah, we're in the we're good, bro. You need to fast three days for that. No, you know what you're talking about, man. What are you to fast three days? I got you. What are you to fast three days? Oh, what is it? Do you know what it is? No, no, there's another thing. Ronaldinho played for Barcelona. You always forget. He's a Barca fan, bro. No, let's stop that. He's a Barca fan, bro. Let's not stop. He's a Barca fan. Explain expand on that, please. Expand on that. There was, uh, no, I was no, a, no, 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 go on, go on. Yeah, no, I need to hear, I need to hear this. This is, this is a fake rumor, go on. Yeah, it's like, it's I just brand new information to me. I'll, I'll be real, yeah. I've yeah. got <clears throat> strong sources. Yeah. Can you cite uh, your sources? Huh? Can you cite your sources? There's a guy behind the camera putting his hand uh, up. His uh, name is uh, uh, Sib Karim. He doesn't really put to the stand. He doesn't really yeah. put on stand. So, yeah. But he'll say it from the background. He's like Seth Blatter in that documentary. He's just in the background all the time. So there was, he was in school. Mm-hmm. He had a real, he was a dad Real Madrid fan. He had a Real Madrid coat, a yeah. Real Madrid jacket. Why is it only funny to me? Yeah. He had, he had I, heard he, I heard he used to support Chelsea as well. That's bad thing you support in school. Guys, you guys, was a confused guys, kid, guys, you know? No, he's a confused no, no, kid. No, no, I, know, I, need a I need a Netflix hey, guy. Yeah, I think we need a Faisal documentary well, 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 on his early upbringing. We need something on Faisal, I'm telling you. No, I'm, that, I'm, I'm gonna finish the story. That, He's trying to get me to move on, but let me finish this story. Oh, yeah. he uh, wants him to move on, so there's some truth behind this. Let's go. Can we carry on, please? There was a jacket he had, yeah? It was yeah. a Real Madrid jacket. Yeah. That had a Real Madrid fan, yeah. but it's reversible. To Barcelona? Inside is Barcelona. Straight no cap. way. You can, wallahi, I don't believe that. Straight We've cap. got a Wallahi, wallahi behind the camera. A are reverse we, Real Madrid Barcelona jacket. We, that is the that worst is jacket of all time. Are we, that is criminal. That is the worst jacket of all time. So, we, turn, so what day did you turn that it That was Luis Figo's jacket. Oh, oh, Luis Figo. Oh, oh, my. That was Luis Figo's jacket. Hold on. Oh, oh, he walks in Real Madrid jacket. Barcelona won that. Ronaldinho. Excellent. Oh, my. You know he's them fans. He's them fans. He's got two kits on. When one team scores, yeah, it's not celebrate. Puts it back on. Straight Okay, so why did you have a reversible jacket? Big man. I've got the sauce, yeah? Oh, are we getting? we're doing a FaceTime. Hey, Sharky, yeah? You're on the pod. Everyone can see. The question is, yeah, yeah. What kind of jacket did Faisal have in school? Set a Real Madrid one. Oh, uh, the Real Madrid jacket, and then on the inside it was Barcelona colours. Oh, can you, oh can my! Can you, can you, can you sweating right now as well. Well, I sweating right now. Well, he's sweating right now. Right now, sweating right right now. now he's sweating. Oh, I never saw that before. Well, I never saw that before. Look at the sweat. Oh my <laughs> days! No, you got. It looks like you got oh, gel in your hair now. It's like you got gel in your hair. Chill out. The way you're sweating. No, he's in Qatar. Chill. Do you know where he's? He's summer's day. Up. June the seventeenth, you're in Qatar right now. Chill out. Right now. Let's go. Wow. All right. The next, and he's been trying to move on for seven minutes as well. Guys, the next crazy. hot take. Wow, we is... got him. We got him, boys. We got him. We do, but we have to move on to the next. No, hot we take. have to. <laughs> I feel like we should do a whole episode on just that. Yeah, I think we <laughs> I'd be over the moon, but guys. I think we should. We should. <laughs> oh, no. he's stressed. I've got more stress. We need a zoom in on that one. <laughs> yeah, we need yeah, yeah, extra yeah, zoom yeah, extra on that zoom. one. Hey, Master, make sure you do your job. Let's go. Let's go. All right, cool. <laughs> if Ronaldo wins the World Cup, this is CR7. Yeah. He will be the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT if he wins the Man, World he's Cup. And he the puts Argentina, I mean, Rome, be the GOAT, GOAT. Argentina, Rome, if he puts Portugal on his back, wins the World Cup, GOAT. You know everything yeah. he said. I wear you know full Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, you know everything he said about my Nash yeah. shooter. If he wins the you World know, Cup, I'll, and he was not useless. I'll if he that. wins the World Cup, I think I'm going to buy every Ronaldo kit he's ever had. Yeah. Well, I. I'll buy every Ronaldo kit. How about this? How about this? Number seven on the back as well. Number 17, everything. If he wins the World Cup, yeah. it's long for everybody in this table. No, it's long. Yeah, no, no. The way I'm going to be so annoying, it's going to be... Oh, it's oh, and it's going to be long. It's going to be long for Messi fans. It's, it's long. There's no it's debate. Because in 20 years, when you, you hear... Do you think Messi fans five have Champions League to say if Ronaldo's influential in that run and he wins the World Cup? Ack. It doesn't change. Messi's, yeah. Messi's a good at the moment. Yes. At the moment. At the but moment. If Ronaldo, Ronaldo wins it. Ronaldo and, wins and, 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 that's, and that's that's a Madrid fan saying this. Yeah. yeah. Even if Ronaldo wins the World Cup. Even Ronaldo wants to walk. And he carries Portugal to the Well, Ronaldo can win. Cup. For me, Ronaldo can win. Uh, Ronaldo's our greatest. Yeah. Let's not get twisted. He's our yeah. greatest player, greatest Madrid player ever. I feel like you're going to say Ronaldo can win so many World Cups and he's not a good. I, I, Ronaldo can win two, three World Cups. That is crazy. Uh, that's crazy, man. It's that's actually looking nice. That's actually looking nice. That's what you're looking at. Because you see me, if Messi wins the World Cup, well, I'll put my hands up and yeah. I'll be like, you know what? Yeah. Messi's the GOAT. Yeah. I surrender. And, and it's one of them ones where he's like influential. When he's influential. I say, fair enough. I'm sorry. I apologize. Messi's the GOAT. I'll put my hands up. It's not even that. Remember, you have to do the same if Ronaldo does it. I'm not biased, bro. No, no, no. I don't think you're biased, but I just think it's nuts that you think. If he wins like one, two, three World Cups, even though he was not going to play that long, for me, he's still not the good. For me, a trophy is not going to determine. Well, it did though. Who, Let's be real. But the but the World Cup is the trophy of it's all the trophies. Pinnacle. On in any sport, the World no, Cup, especially the, for those two, where yeah. everything's like they overlook. They go the go debate between them two is already marginal. Like, yeah, it's already like, like it, can it can go either way. It can go either way. They're both very yeah. similar. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? For me, they're close. 
But a trade is not going to determine, all right, cool. If he wins so. it, it goes up. It even if, if, even if it, it was two, though. three, four, I've seen enough from both of them. I've watched them at their peak from 2009 when both of them had to compete against each other. I know who's to go. I've seen it firsthand. I've Who's witnessed it, yeah, bro. Football and ability, yes. I've witnessed it first time. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. need, I don't need a trophy. As a so you think there's no argument for Ronaldo after huh? over the last decade? No, no, or Ronaldo, so, there's no the argument for Ronaldo. Ronaldo is for me is the second greatest player ever. I don't but know. Neymar's the first. Uh, not Neymar. No, Messi is the first. I hear it, but for me, yeah. Remember when Argentina won Copa America that year? Yeah. Mm. Why did a lot of people tweet saying no, Messi's Messi proved it? Messi's how Messi no, no. to go? Do you know they, like, how desperate were they for Ronaldo, Messi to win that? Bro, desperate. why? Why? Tell me why. Yes, because because they knew that Ronaldo had the Euros, yeah. and that was the thing that 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 was getting basically Ronaldo fans, yeah. get, giving Ronaldo fans yeah. the edge, basically. Yeah. And he had the nation's ego. Yeah, they could do it for his country, but Messi can't do it for his country. And that's why they were so different. But now, though, when things become so marginal and it's only the numbers are similar, the trophies are similar, the careers that they have are both. I think the one big trophy makes that difference. That trophy makes a difference. Messi and Ronaldo could win two more Champions Leagues and it's still debatable. It's still close. It's still close. I was even the guy that said if Ronaldo did the, I think it was the three P, then he went to Juve, right? Yeah. If he did the three peat, went to Juve and won the uh, Juve the Champions League when they were dead, and he done the four peat by himself and done it with another team, I would have even then said he was the goat. Yeah, because for him to go from three peat, um, unbelievable team. Real Madrid team, to then go to a very meaty uh, Juve team and know, help man. them win the Champions League, yeah. I would have said then he's the goat. Yeah. So I think this this is the only sport in the world other than the Olympics where the whole world competes. Hold on, so, yeah. so at the moment, all right, at the moment, it's, who's the goat for you, Ronaldo? They're both Ronaldo. I'm, I'm, Messi. I'm Ronaldo. You Messi. Messi. But if Ronaldo wins it, you'll change. Yeah, I'll change. And if Messi wins it, you'll change. change. Yeah, yeah 100%. And for you as well. Messi but yeah. but you can ask both of them. Football and ability, Messi's yeah. the best. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That, uh, a lot of people, okay. a lot of Ronaldo fans are Messi, yeah. football and ability, but then yeah. because they're so, so close. Players, for me, there's a lot of players that beat better Ronaldo. Than Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so basically for you, the they best, the like technical ability. So, so, so for you, yeah, Messi is yeah. the, the best, best and the greatest. But Ronaldo is the yeah. greatest. That's basically yeah. what you're yeah. trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Because you know, it's when you say somebody's the greatest, you don't just look. I think. Footballing ability is one yeah. aspect of it. I yeah. think you've got to look at uh, the careers that they've had. Also, there's also circumstantial, like the teams yeah. that they played for, etc., etc. But yeah. Ronaldo, he's had so much like moments that like you don't even like. It's like almost like a movie. Yeah. Like you know, you yeah, yeah. you only see that stuff in movies. Yeah. Like do you know what I mean? Like the Juve, like the the, the, free, the, free the, the, the free the hat trick is yeah. Juve, the bicycle, the the hat tricks against mm. the Bayerns and the you know what I mean? And yeah, the yeah. three peat like little Ooh, longevity like that, like, as well. The longevity, like, yeah. like it's just like whereas hey, hey. Messi, of course, yeah. he's had he's you can also do the same for Messi, but mm. I just feel like the, if you look at the two careers that they've had, I think Ronaldo's career is more impressive than. Than Messi's and you know what it is as well yeah. with 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 Ronaldo and Messi is obviously history will tell you in about thirty years where we have this argument people are gonna look at stats people are gonna yeah. look at the highlight look at rules and stuff like that the way we do about the Pele's the yeah. Maradonas and all that stuff they they Even might look at they if if you see that Ronaldo got the World Cup they might yeah. look at it and go oh this guy yeah. this guy. Club football, yeah. he's done complete his game. football. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's like I don't think it's I only think only only people that watched him will go. But I think nah, Messi. The way yeah. people talk, the way like you said, your dad speaks about Maradona and stuff like that. It's where you speak about Messi. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. people are gonna look at it and go, Ronaldo's got. Nah, but, right. but bro, I've got nothing against Ronaldo. Like, don't get me wrong, I've got nothing mm. against. Nah, Ronaldo. you're not you're not a Ronaldo here. You're not Ronaldo here. I've got nothing against. Because the take is that in it. If Ronaldo wins the World Cup, he will be the. But I feel like right now, if you go out and if you ask, let's say, hundred people, I feel like. 60, 70 people is going to go with Messi over Ronaldo. Well, you know I, I think it's closer than that. You know what's I'm saying? You know, you know, you know I would say like 55, 45, 60. You know, you know, yeah, yeah. You know for me, that. shall I'll I be real? If you, for me, the argument changes depending on the season. Like yeah. If you were to ask me last season, oh, yeah. Ronaldo, Ronaldo had people would amazing Ronaldo, season Ronaldo, United. Remember, yeah. 18 goals in the Me Premier League. Messi, 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 Messi had like out, three, three goals. Yeah, yeah he had like two, three goals by like this time of year. You know what I mean? He was struggling. We all rate Messi highly, bro. The first time in his life he had to play not in Barcelona. Mm. Yeah. He moved to I'm a different, different, he different country, human. He finally different looked human. different city, yeah. different language. Like no yeah. one speaks, not everyone speaks Spanish. Yeah. What, what, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, an alien had to s adapt yeah. to a league bro, he that he's never human. had to do in his life. Yeah. But everyone thought, flick of his, because we've seen Ronaldo do it. Flick yeah. of his, yeah. he can go with Juventus, do yeah. the madness. He yeah. went Real Madrid, yeah. he did that. He went yeah. to United, but he was a youth. Yeah. Messi, Messi, he didn't flick the switch. And everyone thought, he might be done. Messi yeah. fans were crying. No, Messi yeah. fans were I was devastated. scared, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Messi fans were scared. They were look, it was the first time face. If we're going to be real, as a Messi fan, yeah. you look at it and go, oh, he's done. Yeah, he's like it's done. No, 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 bro, bro. The thing no, is, I'm, I'm not even a Messi fan. I'm a more, I'm a, I'm a Ronaldo fan more than I'm a Messi fan. Because no, what he did to us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. In reality, the love yeah, of Ronaldo my love, is more. Yeah, my Ronaldo is too much, but I, 
But the head, bro, it will never change. I For hate me, that. Yeah. Messi will always be the GOAT. And by the way, it's not, you know how I said the best mm. and the greatest? Yeah. I feel like this is just NBA talk, like that shit. For me, really, it's just who's the GOAT? The yeah. GOAT is Messi. It doesn't change. If Ronaldo yeah. wins it, I don't care. Listen, if Ronaldo no, wins but let's see. For right me, right for me if Ronaldo right wins it, neck neck. Yeah. the World opinion. Cup, the Golden Ball, he scores in the Champions yeah. League. No, sorry, he scores Golden in the World Cup final. Yeah. Yeah. He wins the, somehow wins the Ballon d'Or. For me, it's, it's, not, it's no longer going to change. Nah, that's cap. I, I think that's, that's crazy. But Fez, I think that's, that's crazy. crazy. But do, you know what, do you know what it is for me? Like, right now, it's neck and neck. Like, so it all comes down to preference, really. Some people just yeah. prefer Messi, and yeah. they're both goats right now. Because no, yeah. both, both, both players goats. have yeah, numbers, yeah. And numbers and accolades yeah. that you could put up against each other, each other and one beats one. one yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because let's, 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 let's Ronaldo's oh. got all these goals, but Messi's got a better goal to game ratio. Ronaldo's yeah. got all these yeah. goals, yeah. Messi's got more goal involvement. Ronaldo's got more Champions League, my man's got more league titles. Like, you just goals. There's no definitive answer between them two. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And like you said, like you said as well, if you were to watch a footballer yeah. for 90 minutes, You'd rubbish, a lot of people yeah. say Messi, yeah. or some people might say Ronaldo. Um, but then you can throw in names, like you said, where yeah. I, you could say Neymar. Like, I think I'd, in, throw, I'd, throw, I'd, I'd rather watch 90 minutes of Neymar yeah. than I would Messi. You could but, throw but, in but that's just Tom Huddleston. Huddleston. Huh? You could throw in Tom Huddleston. He's a player. And, 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 and you can watch him. Well, he's a player. And be like, wow. You could throw in Tom Huddleston and be like, wow. For 90 minutes, you watch him, you'd be like, no way can a guy that's big, Dembele is all Moose Dembele, like a guy that big, the passing, the shooting, yeah. everything. But it's just mean? now, though, just now. No, but yeah. One more thing as well. You see, with the uh, Ronaldo Messi as well, yeah. I feel like. Alright, you know, sorry, sorry about that. You <laughs> were fair enough. Fumbled. Nah, nah. You know what it is because it's gonna. It's, I realize if I say something, it's gonna start another debate. Start debate. Right, yeah, cool. We'll go. We'll go to the yeah, next yeah. one. This one, yeah. we might have to um, take the piss out of them because <laughs> it's, it's a it's a country that. She deserves it. Is it cuter? Cuter? No. That's a normal one, don't know. Belgium's golden generation is the most overrated group of players. Oh, oh fuck. The most overrated oh, generation. Gen but overrated but generation. they got right. so shagged because they produced no defenders. They produced no fullback, sorry. They didn't produce one fullback in yeah, that yeah, whole golden generation. Yeah, That's what killed name, them. Name me a, name me a good um, Belgian fullback. They have no fullback. fullback. But you know the thing is- They had, they had Morales playing left wing back. No, they had Chadley playing left wing back. They had They had Lukaku's brother playing. They had Castagna recently. I hear it, but for me, it's- you're not always gonna have a perfect eleven. It don't matter it's, what. It's not even about that. Though. It's not about perfect it's eleven, bro, bro. I knew this team was they yeah. were something not right. Yeah, and I saw Vermaalen who yeah. hadn't played for much football in the last Japan. five years. Yeah, and he's in Japan yeah. and he got to take it to the Euros. I it said, was ridiculous, yeah, bro. Belgium, bro. you lot are on the smoking yeah, side. When I, 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 I saw, when I saw, okay, Vertonghen company and Alderweireld, that's a solid back. Yeah, no, no, I said, Courtois behind them. Wow, that's wow. that is a Beautiful. ridiculous back four there. The fullbacks though. Who are the fullbacks? You got Nasser Chadley struggling his ass off, playing at West Brom, playing at West Brom. And he's going bombing up and down the left but side. Is that, but is that, is and that, on is the that right side, to... you got um, Morales running up and down the right side. They put, they put Fodonga left back at one point. It was so, mis left back. Was so, the, the so down back. The and they is, had a bum on of, of a manager, Roberto Martinez. The, that, that as well. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't know. Just I, so I don't know. I don't know who else it is, but for them, Ross, it's like, did they have to squeeze everyone? You know how like England had skulls playing left mid? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it makes no sense. Did they, 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 they had to, why did they have to squeeze in company for Tonga and Alvaro? Because they had no, they had no fullbacks. They had no if fullbacks. they had fullbacks, yeah. I reckon it would have been company and um, Alvaro or company. They had Munier, I think, at right back. Munier, yeah. yeah, but he, he came okay. a bit later after yeah, their, after their him, generation. He's, he's, after he's, they're he's like, he's all right. He's not amazing. But you're no, not going to get 11 you, no, more yeah, club. No, you confirm, do you know what You confirm a dead Munier, but having Nasser Chadli as your starting left wing back, every almost every tournament. But he had no options to act. Yeah, no, but that's how like, Bad. Carrasco's right. playing left. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Carrasco oh, is another name. Sorry, that's another name. And the Carrasco came. Carrasco's good, Carrasco is good but he's such but an attacking but, yeah, left winger. Thing, like, and you're making him do right. defensive duties. They're, they're, they're overcompensating me by playing a back five because they're like, we need to play a left wing. We need to play a play back five because they generally have no yeah. They have no yeah. defense. No, forget fullbacks. Yeah. Bro, why is out of Rome? Yeah, why is Vermont Tonga still? Why are they still in the squad? Yeah. Vertonghen is probably in the squad right now. To bro, this day, I would not be surprised if he's Vertonghen in the squad. Vertonghen, 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 Vertonghen,
know what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. Like, so it's like, yo, like Ooh. there's good players there. Can't you like, just need to scout. I'm, I'm looking you at the squad. Actually, look. I'm, I'm looking stinks, at the squad. Bro, stinks. It, it smells so, so bad. bad. Bro. Look at the defense. Look no, no, they got Yan Vertonghen and Anderlecht, Toby Alderweire, Royal Antwerp, Fe- uh, Woot Fez. He's having a decent season for Leicester, so uh, that's okay. Arthur Fiat, don't know who that is. Zeno De Bast, never heard that brand in my life. Munier De Bast, heard. De Bast, De Bast, from, uh, that's okay, but look, he's playing for Anderlecht. But then, okay, now you go to the midfield. Still, Witzel's in there. Still, he yeah. doesn't really. Cause, yeah, because midfield is midfield. They got, they got. Um, who else? They've I got will have surprised. They've got Fellaini's the Donka. They've got the Donka. Fellaini's not in there. I'm surprised. Who's there? You know, Wallahi, like, no, he can't be there. Wallahi, like, <laughs> like, I'm not. I was that, thinking, Wallahi. no way he's in. There. Wallahi, like, I'm not <laughs> having that. What man. did he do? He's still bro. there. Ah, he's bro. playing in China, bro. Yeah. bro. What did he do? They got Michi Batshuayi still there. The, still, the one thing that Benteke's there. there. No, he can't be. If he was there, if he was there, I would have called Martinez and said, "I'm half Belgian. I can play for you guys." That is ridiculous. I would have been, yeah, that's an L. But I can't no, lie, you know, you know, you know yeah. I agree they're overrated, but I thought like 2018, they should have won it. No, I wish they did. Hazard, I wanted him to win it so bad. Hazard man. had the one of the Hazard, best. That tournament, he was outrageous. Best player. Out, he was, yeah, he was the best, he player. best player. He should. Did he yeah. win best player of the tournament? I think it was Modric, no? No, no Messi won. Messi won it, right? Yeah, Messi won it. Yeah, Messi won it, and it was like a shake. He what? shouldn't have won it. No, Modric, 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 the best player when you come out of round 16. Yeah, it That's, that would be crazy. Yeah, but, bro. 18, 18, 18, 18. No, they gave it to Modric and then. Modric, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, but, 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 because I remember Messi got it when he shouldn't yeah, have got yeah, it. Yeah, I think yeah. it was 14. 14 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, but that, to be fair, though, Messi was the best player in 2014 as well. No, but I remember a lot of people were like, he shouldn't have got it. They were saying, like, they wanted to give it to the winner. It would have got, let's be real, it would have gone to Neymar if Colombia didn't take him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In course. But yeah, I feel like, bro, Hazard, bro, that 2018. Absolutely elite. Yeah. No, he and was they amazing. Lost, and they lost to France, I think. 1-0, no, I think. Yeah, in the semi-final, wasn't it? I'm T. I think it was T. I'm T. I'm T. I think so. But like, it was Hazard, he should have I wish he won that tournament. He was the best player. He was the arguably best player in the world. Like, on form, coming into that World Cup. He was amazing that year. before that, he beat you guys in the... Europa League. Yeah, yeah, it was Europa League final. Yeah, no, no, no. That's the season after. Was the season after? Yeah, Didn't he leave? Oh, no, he went to Real Madrid. 18, 19, 18, 19. That was his best season. He came out himself. Those two years, 2018, 19. Amazing two years. Well, it was amazing. Yeah, amazing two years. But like, Belgium, they're overrated as hell. Yeah. Like, crazy golden But then that's the thing. That's the thing about it, though. It's like, coaches, it's coaches. Why is that? Over, over, the word overrated is a bit unfair to call them though. Maybe it is. I, I feel it like is. they're underachievers. 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 That is that is yeah, overrated. That, you've got that, a tag. You got, I don't think that's overrated. Let's prove you, you got a stacked team. You got a stacked team, but you didn't win. Facts. And that's it. Star. How many times did we hear uh, over the dark years? Dark horse. Dark horse. Dark horse. Dark horse. Dark horse. Everyone else hearing that bullshit. Yeah. In that case, is it fair to say if they are overrated? Yeah. That means the England jo- uh, golden generation is overrated as well. Which yeah. golden generation? This one. The, no, the Stevie G. Yeah, it's overrated. Yeah, it's overrated, over over bro. bro. We agree with that. Oh, it's yeah, overrated. No, okay. They're they, they, they under Chiefs, bro. No, no, they're under Chiefs. But, but I'm not hearing overrated. Oh. I'm hearing under Chiefs. No, they're not. So, okay. so, so, okay. so now, okay, so now okay, can you say okay, under Okay, no, no. Okay, I wouldn't say, okay. Sorry, let me take that back. I wouldn't call them. I wouldn't say they're overrated. So because the reason why they're under Chiefs. But you know reason why? You know why? Because you know why? The tournaments that they played in, they every time they got knocked out, they got knocked out to a very good team, yeah. and it was always on penalties. But so has it was Belgium. never like in ninety minutes. But so has but Belgium, two thousand eighteen, defending champions, France. So when, how did they lose? One no. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's different. Defending champions. It's different. They won the World Cup. They won the eventual yeah, champions. Yeah, 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 eventual okay, champions. so so, and then what about twenty fourteen? They always say it's it's it, losing to the eventual champions is always fine. But yeah. I'm looking at their twenty fourteen. They lost their to Argentina. Team very, their, their team was very good. I'm not gonna lie. Bro. The only weird one was Chadley and Fellaini. They had Courtois like and goal. Fellaini was actually a ball. Like we hate looking but, now yeah. in 2018. No, then, yeah. no, no. Um, if you look at it like then, Fellaini then, even in 2018, was a bit shaky it's, to have yeah, in that yeah, midfield. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, but Fellaini did well. He was like, clutch, bro. He was clutch, clutch, clutch goals. He was clutch goals for them, bro. Like no, no, I know he yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. But having him as like one of your starting yeah, players, yeah, yeah, when it worked, it worked. And on here, the formation is 4 2 3 1. To have Fellaini push the Bruyne out to the wing, it's crazy. I doubt he played on the wing, but do you know what I mean? In my opinion, if you're calling England underachievers, then you should call Belgium underachievers as well. I said that. No, no, you said no. You said, you said. They're overrated and they're underachievers. Yes, two different. I'm having both. They're both. They're underachievers and they're overrated, bro. 
This yeah. t- it's both. Yes, they are because okay. every every tournament you're hearing yeah. Belgium oh, might be the favorites. Belgium yeah. might be the dark horses. Belgium might do this. Belgium nah, nah, every tournament, every tournament you hear that. Bro. Dark horse, yeah. How many times we hearing that? Twenty sixteen, twenty fourteen, the Euros, twenty sixteen, twenty eighteen World Cup. How about this? Every year, this Belgian team got more hype than England ever did. I, I think in 2016 they might have been well, the favourites to win the Euros. Yeah. They might have been the favourites to win the Euros in 2016. Oh, take that. Nah. It was a 2016. Yeah. I, I, I think, think they, they were favourites to win the Euros. Well, the one they, they were. Yeah, they I think were, they were bro. the favourites. Yeah. He, 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 guess what? Wales took him out, and they did. Yeah. Yes. Oh, gee, that's another one. What was it? Ha- was it the turn? Harold oh, oh, yeah. 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 I remember that semi quarter final, quarter final. Did you send them? Quarter final, and then Wales lost in the semi. Come on, man. I remember watching that. It was ridiculous. Wait, we do not say yeah. The hype that Belgium got was way more than the hype more. England ever got, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The yeah. hype yeah. that Belgium yeah. got. You're not deeper. You're not deeper. The star got caliber of players they had at that time in their yeah. runs. Yeah. Obviously, Eng- now yeah. the Bruyne has hit his peak. Courtois yeah. hit his peak. Courtois is still one of the, uh, yeah. one of the uh, best. So even now, they had they had that great Tottenham side. Yeah, 2016 was the year. Tottenham 2016 was the year. Dembele, Vertonghen, Alderweireld had a great run with Spurs. So you're so you're basically saying. England's underachievers, Belgium's overrated. I, th- yeah. I think England got dubbed. Yeah. England yeah. got dubbed the golden age once they realized after that they were all done. They got they got dubbed the golden era after the golden age after. Nobody nobody went into the I, tournament saying, yeah. "Yo, England gonna be the uh, yeah." Like obviously apart from people here, yeah. essentially, but like around the world, world like, people yeah. were saying Belgium favorites here. Well, oh, Belgium might do the Belgium might surprise people. Oh, Belgium mm. might win the first World Cup. How many people say, "Oh, Belgium need to win the first World Cup"? Yeah. It's like. Come on, man! I hate you, I hate Come you, on, man! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I like that. What's what's what was the word again? Oh, they're overrated. overrated. I feel overrated. like they're underachievers and overrated. I think they're overrated. I, I, I'll go with you. I feel like they got to their peak, and I think their peak wasn't winning. Their peak was semi-finals, and they got to the semi-finals. I agree. But that's the whole point of a jo- golden generation. Like for me, even an under, you can be yeah. underachievers and be overrated at the but, same but, time, bro. But I feel like more expectation was put towards them. In, in because the if end, we're gonna be real, France wasn't. No, was France, France had Matuidi on the left wing. The whole I remember, thing. No, I remember France had Matuidi left wing. They had a new Mbappe. They had bro, Giroud, they, Griezmann. They, they, it wasn't like they, they had favorite. a very yeah, new favourites, bro. They're, 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 no, they're, at that time, they're 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 front, they're front they're four, you know who's favourite? Their front four wasn't amazing. Yes, they were. No, 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 listen to this. 2018. No, we're looking at it now. You were looking at it. Looking at it now. We're looking at it now. We're looking at it now, bro. Don't look. France left 2016 Euros after they lost the final. Final, yeah. And they went like, cool, we have to win it. What do you mean they're not favourites? They weren't favourites, man. They weren't favourites. I remember Brazil. Brazil was favourites. Yeah, like the way that 2022, Brazil was favourites. I'll be with Brazil. So, okay, I've got the odds right here. I've got the odds right here for who the favourites were for the 2018 World Cup. It was Brazil, France, and then Spain. Where's Belgium? Yeah, they're not in the top four. They're not in there. Come on, let's Yeah, but that's the thing. Captain. Yeah, but that's just that's how, that's how they do it. But, 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 but you talk about the streets. You know what the streets be saying. <laughs> you know what the streets I respect be saying. That. Well, like you know what the streets be They're saying. Come on, let's be, let's yeah, be that's real. True, that's true. You know we ain't making it up, that's bro. True. You know what the streets be saying, man. Nah, they are they're overrated, man. Come on, man. Next one. Qatar is the worst World Cup so far. That's cat. The biggest lie. That's the biggest. That's the biggest lie. They're the best host ever. They're the best ever. Host. Since the was ever created. They played the, a recitation of the Quran before. Yeah, the ceremony. They're, the best, they're, the best, they're the best host I'm ever. Muslim. Best host ever. Oh, this world has been blessed. No alcohol. Take me there. I'm a Muslim. Take I'm going there. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allah. I, 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 got good one, I got a good one for you guys. I got a good one for you guys. Hot take. Hot take on. Tom Huddleston, technically better than Steven Gerrard. I don't know where that is with the World Cup. Where that was come from? <laughs> that, that came from right here. I don't know where that is. And guys, and guys, it's been a pleasure. Guys, Thanks for watching. Comment if you think Tom Huddleston was technically better than Paul Scholes and Steven Gerrard. Whoa. I'm curious. I'm you curious. said his name a couple of times in this episode. I don't know what the, what the <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like Tom Huddleston. Yeah, I, I had some flashbacks. Had some flashbacks. What kind of flashbacks? Oh, what kind of flashback? Had some flashbacks, man. Couple, couple. Like, back, I see back Tom Huddleston recently. He's looking thick. He's thick as hell. Why so? Is it me? Yeah, me. no, he's a lengthy boy. He's a lengthy boy. <laughs> lengthy boy, he's crazy. A lengthy boy. He's a lengthy boy. And that's where we wrap up, guys. It's after they go on. Wrap it up. No, you can wrap up. You said it. Uh, and that's where we wrap up, guys. Obviously, don't forget to comment and subscribe and yeah. let us know your thoughts on what you thought about our, our takes. And we'll see you soon. Make sure you listen as well on streaming platforms. And guys. the last two percenters that are watching this, if you want Faisal's jacket, let us know. <laughs> let us know. We'll give it to you. We'll, we'll actually come on personally deliver it to you as well. How yeah, about that? amazing.